Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Essie. Today we are going to be doing a cash unstuffing for the first week of August, and we will also be towards the end of the video announcing um, another winner of my giveaway. I'll explain later. If you've been watching, you know the details, but for anybody new, I'll explain later. Um, and then we are also going to be unstuffing some back to school for my savings challenge box um, and another savings challenge for um, my kids' birthdays. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, we are going to be doing my wallet. So I did use some cash this week, so we do have some coins. Um, excuse me. Uh, so first, we will be dumping that in. So it's funny because when I used to use cash before I did cash budgeting, I was one of those people that would count out exact change because I wanted to decrease as many coins as I had. But now that I actually hardly use any cash, but I do save my coins, I find myself like breaking bills more often. Um, does anybody else do that? Because it's kind of like, I feel like to myself, it's another way of just saving more. So it's like, oh, if I had exact change for a say, 27 cents. Um, I'll just break it and not give change because one, it saves time from counting out your change, but two, then I have more change to actually dump into my change jar. So anyways, I just thought that was kind of funny how when you do get on a savings journey, you do start to see some of your behaviors getting altered because of what whatever priority is, right? So my first priority was decreasing change and now my priority is I like kind of having more change because it forces me then to like do a kind of, whoops, a uh, false sense of savings. So put that penny in there. And then also sometimes it does help me too because like people say, oh, do you want to round up for, you know, whatever given charity? Usually it seems to be St. Jude's. And so a lot of times I'll say yes. Okay, so that was the change. So moving on to my wallet. So last video I kind of went through and did a couple of like, uh, I think I put in my passport and I was showing you a couple of other items. So I do really love this A7 size. At first I thought it was super cute and I loved it. And then I was like, when I was using it as a planner, it wasn't functional cause like it's just very tiny to write in. And you can't even put a regular size pen in the Louis Vuitton A7. Um, you have to put in this like specific smaller size that I was able to find on, find on Amazon. So um, anyways, I do like having the pen just in case, but I don't really use it that much anymore because this is more of a cash wallet. Okay, so gratitude is gone this week because we ended up picking some flowers for a teacher, so we used the money for that. Um, and then kindness, we combined it because it was kind of a lot. So, um, well, not a lot, but just more than the $5. So we combined kindness and gratitude into um, one purchase for the flowers. Miscellaneous is... Um, getting rolled over and then I could have used miscellaneous for the flowers as well but we decided to use kindness and gratitude kids we ended up getting a little bit of a smoothie or a small smoothie because man smoothies are expensive now um so that five dollars went to that and then eating out um I will take out right here um so twenty dollars so that was spent using a card, but we ended up trying, I think it's called mochi donuts, and it was really good. So we got the Korean corn dogs, um, which are amazing. I had never had one before. Um, goodbye hot dog bun, because the whatever batter they use to deep fry the corn dog is amazing. It's just like light and super crispy and just full of flavor. So anyways, we ended up trying that and getting um, those Korean corn dogs. Okay, so that is it for my wallet. Um, let's move on to our sinking funds. Oh, and before I do that, let me grab some change because I do this every single time. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of my $1 challenge. And let's count out, I'll count out 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let me see if I have some fives. Nope, I do have another 10 though, so. Let's see if that'll do it for us. If not, I will count out some more. Okay, so $20 and change. And gas is always, I'm gonna actually go in reverse because gas, I feel like I always stuff with big bills and then I never have enough change. So, um, okay, let's start with health. So we'll go backwards today. So health, we are going to be um, taking out $95. So, 
Let's take out 100 and right away put in one, two, three, four, and five. Count that again. One, two, three, four, five. So $95 went this month to my, my youngest son's hearing test, which came out just fine. Um, and we had to get the hearing test um, as a kind of prerequisite for starting speech therapy. And then my oldest son, because he's starting first grade at public school, um, he needed to have a vision test on record. So we had to do it. We had a small copay for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, fifty seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. So seven, twenty, seven, nineteen. Apparently that has a lot of change in it. So if I need more change, I could probably just grab from there. Okay, gifts is going to be the next one. So this is gifts, not for my sons, because I do have a savings challenge that I'll be pulling from that. But this is gifts. We have a couple of classmates in my oldest son's um, class from his old school. And then my mom had a birthday uh, this month as well. So gifts, we're going to be unstuffing $181. So $150. And 51, so $201 means I should get $20 back. So 100, 200, whoops, one, and I'll take this 20. All right, so that leaves us with 20, 30, one, two, and three. So the one kid's birthday is gonna be Mario Brothers themed and he's having it at his neighborhood pool. And so we got him a little Mario Brother game where I think like Luigi and Mario go around and then there's the big tulip jaws that comes down and depending on, you know, what when you push the button, sometimes the jaws will come down and, and snatch Mario or Luigi. So that one looked really fun. And then we also got him an elephant and piggy book, um, but in Spanish since my son's in Spanish immersion and so are these other kids. So I thought that would be great to just kind of encourage like, you know, Spanish reading um, with, you know, we love uh, Elephant and Piggy, or Piggy and Elephant. I'm not sure which one comes first. Um, and then for the second boy, he's having a birthday at the same farm that we just went to for my youngest son, um, which is great. It's got like the, the horses, the train, um, playground, petting zoo. And uh, he, so he came over for a play date and his mom told me that he remembered for my son's birthday last year that we had um, the little train Rebecca from Thomas and Friends. And so we ended up getting him um, the wooden train Rebecca and she's got a little like, I don't a coal cart or something behind her that so it's a two piece thing. And then we ended up getting him also an elephant and piggy um, Spanish book. So hopefully they like that. Their birthdays, one's at the end of August and one's actually the beginning of September, but decided to just get both of them taken care of. All right, so subscriptions is going to be removing $40, so 40. So in my stuffing video, I was like, oh, I'm not going to stuff subscriptions this month because, you know, I had so much left over last month. Well, I realized that I think I was taking out a car wash subscription from car maintenance instead of subscriptions. I thought maybe I should actually move it to subscriptions. So I will be stuffing more um, in the next coming cash stuffings. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I put the car wash in subscription because it's a monthly thing or should I put it in car maintenance because it's a car thing, obviously? I don't know, it probably doesn't really matter, but um, I think I'm gonna keep it in subscriptions. Nothing for vehicle maintenance right now, but that is going to be coming out pretty soon, so I'm gonna be stuffing that more. Um, insurance, not this week. Household, nope. Okay, eating out. So eating out is gonna take out $72, of which I already took the 20 from my wallet. So that'll be 20, and then adding 50 will be 70, and then 75 with three back. One, two, and three. So again, we ended up um, getting those Korean corn dogs, which were really good. And then the local Arboretum um, near us had a festival and it was called Destination Asia. So we ended up going to that and they had a bunch of food trucks. So we ended up getting um, lumpias, which is kind of like really mini egg rolls um, from the Philippines. And then we ended up getting some um, boba teas, so. Milk delivery is going to be $20, so all of that. Um, groceries is going to be taking out $89, so 100, so that'll give me 11 back. Looks like we should have enough change now for gas. 
So gas was $115. So out of $150, I need $35 back. So $150, $20, $30, five. Perfect. And that is it for my sinking funds. So I'll put those to the side. All right, invest. So this will be from the kids binder or envelope. So that's gonna be $31, which of course, um, let me hold off on that for a second just because I don't have any fives right now. Um, let me do, I think it was enrichment. So enrichment is going to be $5. Please have a five or something. Nope. Um, let me see if any of these other ones do real quick. Um, but anyways, enrichment is $5 because um, when we went to that um, Arboretum, we have a membership, but it doesn't cover everybody that went. So we had to pay $5 for one of the kids which is completely fine, goes to a good cause. Um, okay, so let me, how do I wanna handle this? I guess we'll just take five more from here. So one, two, three, four, five, which will then cause me to have to cash condense for this, so which is totally fine. Okay, so $10 here, $5 back, one, two, three, four, five. which leaves us for 1, 2, 20, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 267 in enrichment. And we'll probably use some of this enrichment when we go on our um, trip to Portland and Seattle. And then, let's see, academics, do you have a good change? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have ten ones, so I'm gonna just do a quick condensing right there, just so I can at least get the ones. All right, so kids is going to be um, eighty. No, no, thirty-one dollars. So I'm gonna need seventy-nine back. No, sixty-nine back. Sixty-nine back. Thirty-one dollars I spent. I need sixty-nine dollars back. Okay, so 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so $69 back, spent 31. And then I need to go to Costco to get some diapers because they're in mega sale right now. Um, so I will be stocking up on that, which will take a major hit in my kid's binder. Okay. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So then I'm gonna move on to my husband's binder. Um, he has been spending quite a bit now because um, he was back home for a little bit and did some teaching and commuting. So um, I think he like had to get a couple meals or maybe he had to like, I always see these charges on like Walgreens or CVS. And so like a lot of times I think he's getting chapstick or maybe picking up a quick drink or like one time I think he picked up like a spare battery pack or. A Cord. I don't know, but those are kind of like his go-to places because downtown in the city, um, you know, there's there's a lot of like drugstores, but there's not a lot of like big supermarkets or, you know, tar I mean, Target's down there, but, you know, few and far between because it's the city. They just don't have the real estate for it. So, and then you'll also notice that I switched out for the Slim Wallet, the taupe color, because um, I wanted to try this um, teal one. So I think in the last video or the two videos before I said, you know, someone had purchased the burgundy or the teal one. Well, she reminded me that she purchased the burgundy one. I knew exactly who it was. I just couldn't remember the color. And like I said, these jewel tones are so gorgeous. I think especially for the fall. So I decided to match the teal. It doesn't completely match this binder. If, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little bit of a different shade. This one's maybe a little bit more blue. Maybe this one's a little more, more green. I don't know. My lighting's a little bit yellow tinged. Um, but anyways, I kind of like that it was, it was very similar. Um, I love the color teal. I just think it's so um, rich looking, very luxurious looking, even though I love my neutrals. Um, so anyways, I just thought I would change it out for him because, you know, he's kind of like brown's kind of, you know, he's not super neutral. He kind of likes color more. So until um, I decide on what his binder is for sure going to be, I was like, oh, well, I have these laying around, so I will switch it out. Okay, so personal, he spent... 
$77, which is a huge jump from last month. So 50, 75, there's a five and $2. There we go. All right, so that leaves him with 40, 20, 40, 45, 50, 51. So still doing pretty great. Okay, grooming, sartorial, none, none, none. Um, business one. So this is going to be $18. And I believe he took out, um, I think he got donuts for um, one of the classes he was teaching. So $20 and we'll take that too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dollars back into business one. And nothing for business two or business three. And then I also put in this little insert. It is not by the same manufacturer, so you will notice that the color is slightly off. I think it's a more of a greenish undertone um, than the blue. But I thought it was really nice because my husband does sometimes um, just hands me the receipts. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hand receipts in here. And he also, especially for some of his businesses, have um, kind of like more like printout receipts where it's like, you know, an eight by 11, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I think I was going to fold them up and kind of keep them in here um, until he starts maybe using this more often. I don't know if he's actually going to use this because he has a black binder he uses. But um, I just thought that would be good to kind of keep some stuff for the businesses, especially um, longer term. Um, and then we do obviously have like, you know, we keep our receipts for the business for tax purposes um, in his actual office. But um, so, yeah, I just thought this insert was really nice. Um, and so I'm just putting it in here. We'll see if I end up using it or not. If not, I'll just take it out. But there we go. Okay, so that's my husband's binder. Put that off to the side. Okay, my binder, um, I did $18 out of my personal. And again, I keep forgetting. So $18, I was like, oh yeah, I have it. But then I forgot that I put 10 of those dollars into kindness and gratitude. So I got to get better at my bookkeeping for that. So I'm going to take out the $10 and I need to get $8 somewhere. So I think I'll take it out of, I guess I'll take it out of, this week I'll take it out of laser. Um, so I need to take $8 out. So you know what, let me just put the 10 back into my personal and then I'll just stuff the laser with 20 extra dollars instead of my personal. Um, okay, so $20 and that means $2 should come back. Okay, so that leaves $42 in laser instead of 60. Okay, and then that is it for my personal binder. All right. And then the next um, thing I'm going to be unstuffing is back to school. So back to school is, let's see, $414. So first let me count that out, and then I will explain what we spent the money on. So... 50, 20, uh, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 90, 310, 30, 50, 70, 90, 410, and I need four dollars. So let's see, five, of course, 10. So if I do 420 dollars, let's see, 50. 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 90, 310, 30, 50, 70, 90, 410, 15, 420. That means I should get $6 back, which is what I have exact change for. So 20 and fives. So that leaves me with. 
let's see, it should leave me with 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 11. So 400 and 10, 11. Oh, it should be 14 $414. Oh, I took out, I think I removed 414 instead of 411. So if this is 11, I need, actually need $3 back because I over, I took out too much here. So let's see. Let me just do this as one, two, three, four, five. Five. So I will have taken out 25 and um, I'll put a five in here just so that it stays at 20. So I took 20 out, I have to put 20 back in. So then I will give this one $3 back. I know it's super confusing. I apologize, guys. Um, because I should have taken out $411 and had 414 in here, but I did the reverse. I took out 414 and had 411 here. So this should be $414 and I spent 411. So we ended up buying my oldest son who's going to first grade a backpack. It was like a checkerboard backpack. It has a big like shark mouth on it. Um, he liked that one. Um, we ended up buying a Bentco lunchbox. So, you know, it has all the different compartments in it and it's insulated that fits into his lunchbox, which was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, we ended up buying a new water bottle because um, for some reason we go through a lot of water bottles. I feel like we forget them places. Um, so this one is more of, it's a stainless steel one. It's bigger capacity. Um, so we bought him a special one, even though it's a little bit more expensive, just because I wanted it to be specifically a school one. Like we're not going to use it for activities. It's just going to be for school. Um, and he's always like wanting like to use my water bottles, which um, I love the stainless steel ones just because I like really, really cold beverages. And so we ended up getting him that one. It's a little bit heavier for him. And then my other thing with water bottles, I know it's probably an unpopular opinion, but I cannot stand water bottles for kids with straws. I swear every single water bottle that they sell out there comes with a straw, like it flips up or whatever. But those things are horrible to keep clean. Like I hate cleaning them. Like it's all kind of gunk in there. Um, I hate having to take out the little pipe cleaner for it. So my like number one rule in the house is that we do not have water bottles with straws. Um, we have reusable straws that we use that are kind of external. Like if we're going out and we have like you know, fountain soda or something. But in terms of like reusable water bottles, no straws in this house. Um, and then we had a bunch of supplies that I bought for him. Like one of them was like a 12 pack of dry erase markers, um, you know, markers, crayons, colored pencils, um, very specific regular pencils. So my school did a great job of listing exactly what they wanted um, down to the brand. Like it was like the pencil brand that, you know, I thought was maybe like Ticonderoga or something or whatever, but it was this brand I'd never heard of. I think Oriole, um, number two, pre-sharpened two 12 packs. Like that was the instructions. Um, so I was really thankful because it was really easy to just look it up. But on the other hand, I kind of was like, it would be really awesome if whoever was typing this out could just put together like an Amazon wish list, And then like, you could literally just go in and like, say, you know, add all to cart and then you're done. So, um, that part of me was kind of wishing for the convenience, but I also tried it by locally. So we actually would go into the brick and mortar stores. And I think that's more fun for my son anyway, to kind of go get supplies. I remember being a kid and being really excited to go get the supplies and feel them and pack them into my bag and stuff. So anyways, his first day of school is this coming Thursday. Um, not this week, but next week. Um, and so we've packed everything that we have so far in his bag. And there's a couple of more things that we already have here at the house. That I have to put in like a box of Kleenex and I think like an old t-shirt for art days and um, headphones. They need headphones for school. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be wireless or wired. So we have a pair of headphones that he uses when we travel. And so that's what I'm going to send him with. And if we need something different, then I'll have them let me know. Um, 
The other major thing that we bought was um, I did apply some of that money to school fees. So it was $145 for the um, starting of school fee. Um, so that got paid. And then, wow, I guess my money did kind of go pretty far, I guess. Um, I ended up buying new gym shoes for him because his old ones were kind of wearing out, like the little tab in the back that he uses to pull, his, you know, to push his heel in and pull the shoe up um, had ripped from this past year. So we got him a new pair of shoes. And then my younger son who started um, preschool, um, he needed a new set of shoes for his, the indoor classroom. So we ended up getting him some, those little Tom's um, Alpargatas, I think you call them. Anyways, it's like the, the iconic design for Tom's shoes. And Tom's is great because they also donate shoes um, when you buy a pair. So we love Tom's in this household and they're pretty reasonable. Um, and they feel more like a slipper. So it feels more um, comfortable for him to be an indoor classroom shoe. So when I picked him up from school yesterday, which was his first day, he was crying because he wanted to bring his indoor shoes home. And I don't know if it's because they were new shoes or if he just likes those shoes, but oh my goodness, we sat there for like probably, I swear, maybe two minutes and trying to, you know, just work through it and he can come back to school today and wear his indoor shoes again. So when I go pick him up in an hour, I'm we'll see if he uh, is crying because he wants to bring his indoor shoes home again. So hopefully not, but um, he did a great, he had a great first day of school. I'm so thankful for the teachers. And um, we already knew the, the classroom and the other kids because uh, my oldest son had just graduated out of that class. So um, that really helped, but you just never know when you send your kids to school for the first time, you know, if they're gonna feel overwhelmed or if they're gonna be really excited or, you know, as, as was my experience with my oldest, you know, it just depends on the day. Like some days are really high and some days are really low and, you know, it just depends. But um, so far, so good. All right. Um, okay. Totally forgot that I have one more thing to unstuff as I got super, super chatty, which I always say, oh, I'm not going to be super chatty. And then I always am. Okay. So the kid's birthday. So $460 was here. So for my youngest son's birthday, we spent $141. And this includes all of the fees for the family to go to that little farm park. Um, it also included um, his gifts. So we ended up getting him, um, you know, the show Bluey about the, the Australian um, cattle dogs, I believe it is. And it's a cartoon. Um, it's really great. I, I feel like it's one of those lower stimulating shows that has a lot of really good messages, not only for kids, but also for like parents that are overstressed and overstimulated. Um, so we ended up getting the little sister, um, Bingo, stuffed animal. And, it, you know, you squeeze her belly and she makes, you know, she sings the opening song or she says, you know, I think it's like, I'm a picky uppy expert. Um, he loves that. And then we ended up getting him one of those like little Velcro um ball felt ball catch thing I don't even know how you call it but basically it's like two paddles that have velcro on them and you throw the ball in between and you catch it on the velcro so considering my two-year-old is not the best at catching um he's pretty good at throwing but not at catching so him and the three soon to be four-year-old love playing that so they can actually throw it and kind of have some help catching with the velcro um and then we also got him a bike helmet because he sees his older brothers putting on their helmets for when they do the scooters or bikes and he's always wanting one. So, and it's just good to have him practice. Um, so we got him a bike helmet and then we also ended up getting him a um, little dinosaur board book. So that was pretty much what we got him. And then we did end up contributing to his 529 plan as well. Um, so that was it. We made him a banana pudding cake because he loves bananas. And so we kind of, we had a cake in our freezer that we had made a while ago. So we took that out. Um, my mom ended up making custard. We sliced up the bananas and bought some little wafers and just kind of layered it in a, a bowl. So more like a trifle, I guess, than a cake. And it was a huge hit. So that was very simple, very, um, more taste driven than aesthetically pleasing to look at, but, um, you know, he's two. So he had fun blowing out his candle and eating his pudding, his banana pudding. So anyways, okay. So $141 for that birthday. So I'll take out 155 because I don't have a ton, again, don't have a ton of ones. So 155 means I need 13, 14 back. Let me take back the five. So 150 means I only need nine back, which of course I do not have. So I have five and two ones. So let me just put in another 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, which is what I should have stuck with. So now I have to remove $25 from here. And then that'll be one, two, three, four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So that leaves me with 100, 200, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 314 dollars from 460 does that. I swear to goodness, something did not. I should have 319 left, right? 103. All right, I have to figure out what I did. Um, maybe I didn't start off with 460. I'm not sure. But right now I have 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm missing a $5. So I will go back off camera and figure out what happened there. All right. That is it for all of the unstuffing. So the last part is the, um, the giveaway winner. So again, it's the original winner. And I'm going to insert a clip for showing who um, would have won that. And I will come back with the clip also um, announcing the winner. So stay tuned. All right, so our winner is Diana Viola. Um, or Viola, I'm not sure which, but Diana, you are the winner. You were an original commenter on the first video and you do live in the continental United 40, uh, 48 United States. So just quick recap to anybody, the original own winner, um, Call Me BC is not located in the United States. She's an international subscriber. And because this is perfume, I could not ship as a personal account uh, internationally unless I basically got certified as being able to ship hazardous material because perfume has alcohol which is highly flammable so had to do a second winner um, just for anybody who I could actually ship through ground and um, call me BC did get a different prize um, so moving forward my international subbies will always be included in my giveaways but I will just be more mindful with what those giveaways will be so that shipping is not a concern moving forward so thank you so much Diana and call me BC and everybody who entered my giveaway and congratulations to the two winners um, and that will wrap up today's video um, I guess the one oh for comments so I have told people before that I'm starting to drop hints on where my anniversary trip is going to be coming up in January. So one person guessed Paris um, and another person guessed south of France. I am not going to France, but there is the potential that Paris may be a layover when I book my flights. Um, and then another person guessed um, some were Spanish and it is not specifically something Spanish but it does have ties to Spain so um, those are the two hints I will give to you um, if I get lots of people who are guessing and you know I, I need to <laughs> make it to the, uh, a couple of videos so we'll see how how many hints I give um, that are specific to comments but for now um, does have ties to Spain it is not France but there might be a layover to, uh, in France because there are no direct flights so those are the hints give me a guess um, and then I will announce the video where this probably is not gonna be um, closer to November time frame but you know inviting everybody to guess I will not say yes or no if you actually get the guess um, so that way everybody can kind of watch the videos, hear the hints together, and then on the final video, um, everybody can guess in the comments. So anyway, thank you so much. Um, let me know what you think, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.